Mr. Blocks and we're back in Creatures of Sonaria and today we're going to be checking out the brand new creature that is... Wait, he's down here somewhere. There he is, the Turgion. The Turgion, which is quite a colourful green. <laughs> Look at the colour of it. Bright red and blue. It looks a beast. It does. Let's feed. Uh, the slow and heavy beast that dwells the marshes and swamps of Sonaria. They often wade in deep mud piles, camouflaged for their lethal, camouflaged for their lethal ambush on any unfortunate creature that happens to wander too close to their jaws. I'm sorry. If you're going to have an ambush creature, a water ambush creature, bright red is probably not the colour you want to be. I feel they might see this coming up at them. Wade into deep mud so they cover themselves in mud. Being a different colour would just be easier. <laughs> oh, let's have a proper look at it. I want to see what the detailing again, as always, looking rather good. Love the detailing on the legs and across the back. It's quite an unusual looking creature. The head is beautiful. Really beefy head. Oh, I like it. I really like it. Look at that palette. That palette is absolutely bonkers. It's like someone went, yep, we can't decide what color. So we're just going to give you all the colors. I'm quite looking forward to coloring this guy. I'm going to come up with three color schemes whilst I'm doing that. Remember, if you enjoy anything during this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. 75% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. 75%. That's mental. Subscribe and then you won't miss a video. Just think of it that way. So quite an unusual one, this one. Uh, this is very bright for my color schemes but there's something quite nice about it it does show off a lot of the detailing and it sort of keeps the color scheme of the original which i quite like it's almost like i've put more blue and less red where the other one's quite red and a little blue right if i remember correctly but i really yeah there's something quite nice about this it almost reminds me of a power ranger creature i don't know i can just imagine them going power rangers go and then this comes up um this is the western red toe for obvious reasons it has red toes and it's found in the west yes uh second up we have the golden moss back there's something that makes me love this skin and something i'm not quite sure on with this skin the yellows a lot more subtle with the detailing, but you could still pick it all out really nicely. And then we got this lighter yellow running through, picking out details on the head. And then this very dark, mossy green, just, just sort of frost in the edges of it. Frost in the edges. That's what I'm going with. I, I'm sort of on the fence with this one. I love it and hate it all at the same time. And in third place, we have the Greater Cherry Oak, which again is a, a bit odd. I wanted to get some sort of warning signs with the red. I know I said like as an ambush creature, bright colors are probably not the best idea. And they're probably not. But the body itself is actually fairly, fairly timid with all these browns and different shades of browns, bringing out the details slightly, not in your face. And then that... Bright red and white tail is like a real warning sign. I like it. There's something very right about this skin. Uh, let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite? Is it the Greater Cherry Oak, the Golden Mossback, or the Western Red Toe? They're all very bright in their own sense. Uh, I, I was going to do a dark skin, but we don't actually have many colors that go really dark. It's almost like I wanted another shade of brown or a, 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 a grey or something like that. But ultimately, I'm happy with the, the ones we came up with. Is there any difference between male and female? Yes. So, females have something on the back there. I'm presuming it's... Oh, the whole fin, is it? Oh, yeah, the whole fin just disappears from males. And they have this little hook on the chin. That hook there, look. Gone. There we go. 
I don't mind that. Do I prefer that to females? No, I think I prefer... It depends what skin. What skin? I'm feeling the greater cherry oak. Or the western red toe. Oh, I don't know. The western red toe does stand out a mile. It does. It does. Huh. Let me see what the female looks like. What the male looks like. Yes, yeah, see, I prefer that one as a female. I feel we've taken too much off it. Do you know what? I might play as this one. We'll give this one a go. Let's jump in. Let's see what it can do. And of course, it's nighttime when I spawn in. We look fairly big already as a baby. We're quite a slow mover. We'll get a proper look at the movement in a minute. That eye is really daunting. It's like that. <laughs> I want daylight now. I want to see it. I want to see it as a baby. The game hates me. The sun's come up, but it's giving me fog at the same time. Although we do look epic in the fog. Look at that. Really nice. It is a lovely creature. We are semi-aquatic, so I'm guessing we'll do better in water. Plus, there won't be fog in water if we think about it that way. We could look at the swimming first, and then we'll check out the walking. So, swimming wise, nice animation. Goes very sleek as it swims. I'm guessing we can swim fast. We can. Idle animation. See, that's quite nice. That's nice. I like how the legs sort of drop. I can, I can live with that. The swimming animation very much reminds me of the Ken. The Ken does a similar thing. Uh oh. Can I get out here? <laughs> We're going down whether we can or not. Um, is this out? This is not out. Um, ooh. Ooh, maybe we can go through here. I need to find the surface. Oh, I'm stuck. Wow, these tunnels are small. That is such a small opening. There we go. We can get a proper look at it now. I like it. I really like it. <laughs> let's just let's go in. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Okay, the fog's gone. So let's check out the actual movement. And then we definitely need to find some food. Nice animation. Reminds me a bit of... A Komodo dragon, actually. How low it is to the floor, how it walks, very much so. Let's see if we can do some running. Oh, oh, this thing went, look, it doesn't look like that's a comf... It's a bit like scurrying along. I can... Do you know what? It feels like scurrying. That's what we want. Idle animation. Let me find a flat bit of land. Idle animation. Bit of a tail swipe there. Doesn't look like a lot happens. Okay, fair enough. Where are we going to find food? Probably in the water would have been our best. Oh, oh, I smell meat. Meat is this way. Come to me, meat. Come to me. I would say something there. Now, are you going to be friendly and share? I hope so. I don't... Oh, no. Yeah, it's not bothering me. I'm just eating some meat, and then I'm on my way. Okay. Good. <laughs> That's what I like. Friendly bats who let me eat, and then leave me alone. We are a beautiful teenager. We've got a bit more detail now. Not that you can see, actually, because it keeps hiding in the ground. Wait, let me go to the top of the hill. Top of the hill and start going down the hill. There we go. So we've got some, some detailing on the tail coming through. We've got a nice headpiece. We look more like we can handle ourselves now. Definitely some spikes on the arms, which I didn't even notice the spikes, if I'm honest. I love, I, I like looking at these through the generations because you see the overall thing and great. But because at this point it hasn't got all the rest of it, you sort of notice 
to smaller things that you didn't notice before, like all the spikes on each of the arms. Love this detailing coming down the side here, where, where the upper skin separates from the belly skin. And you've got these spikes running down there. That's lovely. It looks so well protected and chunky. Like, it just feels chunky. We're not a quick creature. And I think fully grown, we're definitely not going to be quick. Running wise, even running as a teenager, we're definitely not that quick. But I feel like I can handle myself, whether I can or not. We will probably find out in this episode. <laughs> yeah, whether I can handle myself, who knows? But I feel like I can, and that, that's part of the way, right? And we are an adult and looking incredible. I love that tail so much. The tail looks amazing. Let's get out the water. Let's have a... Oh. Out the water, please. Yeah, we're not getting out the water. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're on land. And we're slow. Yep. This, this thing is not a land hunter. That is for sure. Let's just grab some food. Eating the food. Lovely animation there for the eating. I like that. Okay, we should have a drink as well before we run off. There we go. Have a drink. Yep, yeah, get that water in you. In fact, you've been sat in it all this time and you're still dehydrated. Meh. Look at it. Oh, it's lovely. Don't come near me, Bernie. I might have to eat you. <laughs> Not on land, of course, because you're far too quick for me. Watch this. <laughs> yep, see, we have no chance of hunting on land. Let's check out what our animations look like. So, a sitting animation is odd, I'm going to guess, because we're already lying down. Okay, sitting animation, the legs, the back legs just sort of slide forward and it puts his little bow on the floor. As simple as that. Lion animation. Wait. Wait, wait. Really? So the lion animation, he just slides his feet forward. Is this how it sleeps? Is this honestly how it sleeps? Upright like that. Okay, if you say so. Can you stand up for me, please, sir? Is that a thing you can do? So you should be stood now. You are. Excellent. Aggro. Wait, I want to get I want to get a good view of the aggro. Aggro. Oh. He's quite snappy. The tail sort of hit in the ground, which is quite threatening. I understand that. Yeah, that's okay. That works. Uh when we cower. We don't really care where we're going. Yeah, we'll sort of put our head to the side just to please you. But I'm keeping my eye on you. I'm watching every movement you make. <laughs> and end animation. I bet this is just going to be one that lies on the floor and wiggles. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all, actually. Do you know what? I don't mind that. It's wiggling, but it hasn't just flopped down like a dead fish. One thing that does annoy, doesn't annoy me, like there's no way around it, is the tail goes into the ground a lot, as you can see. Like the tail has no... Well, I suppose if it had collision, that would be terrible. It's just a shame. It's just a shame it doesn't recognise the ground and bend around with it. But that's understandable. I completely get that. We are heading towards the desert. I must be out on my mind. Actually, before we head to the desert, we should probably hear what I sound like. Because it... I don't know if anyone in there wants to eat me or not. So, court... Wait, wait. Let's get a nice view of the head. Core number one. Core number two. Core number three. And finally, core number four. It is a beautiful model. 
Really nice. What is on the other side there? Something small. Something small and snack-like. He says, as it absolutely bolts away. I'm. Why am I... What's eating me? Something bit me. Oh. Oh, you bit me. Where did you go? Oh, yeah, you're quicker than me. Seriously? <laughs> Sitting down underwater looks very odd. Very odd. I still think there should be separate animations for sitting and lying in water. This thing, it does not get out the water easy. We're going to try again. Trying to get... Come on. You know you want to. I know he's going to swim back up and try and bite me again. I will not allow it. Wait, we've got food in the desert. Is there normally herbivore food in the desert? I've, I can't say I've ever noticed. Maybe. Oh, we're so slow. We're so slow. One million and one years later, and we still have not made it to the water side. Oh. Hello, bunny. Were you the bunny I was trying to eat? Were you? I wonder if there's any of me along here. There must be more of me somewhere. Oh, there's a piece of meat. That meat looks tiny. Actually, as does... Oh, there's so many creatures and I just feel massive compared to them. This guy here, the smoky green guy, is actually bigger than I remember it. Oh, oh, I can't see. What's going on? Oh, I'm in a tornado. That's what's going on. I wish for you... Oh, I could try and click these. Let's try it. Oh, three. No. No, we lost life. The horrible tornado got us. Quick, get under shelter. I need shelter. Like, I'm in... Oh, no, wait. Yes, that is what I am. You are correct. I need shelter. There. That's green. We're good. Wow. I thought animals were going to kill me. No, 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 no. The tornado. That's what did it. The sheep just ate. The sheep just bit me. Don't you bite me, Mr. Sheep. <laughs> it literally gave me radiation sickness. Wow. What? I'm sorry, but he, he deserved to be eaten. He just did. Haha, -ha, the tornado missed me that time because I am sheltered. It cannot get me. I had the last laugh, tornado. I had it. <laughs> oh, wait, don't move. It's coming back. Brace yourself. <laughs> what is this thing? It's like, it looks almost like a volcanic dodo. It's very odd looking. I haven't got one of these, but I sort of want one. Look at it. Oh, look, there's so many creatures around. I love that everyone doesn't play as the same creature. I think that's really nice. You get such a variety. It's a bit odd, everyone hanging around here. I'm not going to lie. But I always come here. One, because sometimes entertaining things happen here. Two, because I want you guys to see yourselves in my videos. So if you see yourself in the background, great. Let me know in the comments if you've seen yourself in this video. And until next time, I'll see you again.